to today's vlog. Today is November 10th. I'm currently on my way to the post office to pick up a package. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing for y'all. And then I'm hoping whenever I get home, I can work on the cow pens like I was talking about in yesterday's vlog for me to feed our calf in and so I can start handling him more. So yeah, I hope they all enjoyed today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already to see more of my videos. If you click on the notification bell, let me know that you did that down in the comments for a chance to win a notification shout out on my channel. And I'm also always posting behind the scenes on Instagram and TikTok and everything and all of that is always down in the description box. flexible, cool towels for easy put on and take off, waterproof, durable rubber, uppers, neoprene shell, construction is 100% waterproof. Also keep you warm, neoprene provides shock absorption and heat retention. They are breathable, air mesh lining wicks away humidity and they keep your feet dry. They have so many different colors, so it was really hard for me to pick. They are available on Amazon. Let's see, I want to try them on. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Oh my gosh, they're comfy. Oh my gosh, I really like these. I don't know if y'all can see them. Yeah, you can tell. Like, this is like, um, they seem really good quality. So, I'm gonna go and move some panels and I'm gonna wear them. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. I don't know if y'all can see them. Let me get up here. They are so comfortable. I love them so much. Normally, mucking boots are like really heavy, and these are like really light. Like, I cannot believe like how comfortable and lightweight these are. The only thing is, which I don't know, they're not like rubber, like they're soft. Because so I was thinking about like the summertime, them rubbing like my calves raw, but we'll see. I mean, they seem really soft, so I'm not sure if they'll rub me raw or not. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is now a couple days later. Today is November 12th and it's Friday. I was not able to do the pens for the cows again. I'm trying to get used to this time change and just today's getting shorter. So, did not have enough daylight to do that again. So, doing that today for sure because I have the family come in Sunday to put the deposit down on the calf or to look at him most likely put a deposit down so i definitely need the pen up so i can like have him in like a little area so they can see him better which i need to do it anyway because i need to work with him and everything like i have said <laughs> i'm wearing my boots i have been wearing them and i absolutely love them i actually need to clean them off because i haven't done that i've been wearing them non-stop they're super comfy i've just been hosing them off and they come clean pretty easy. So. And they kindly gave me a discount code for y'all for 10% off. So I'll have that code in the description box in case y'all want to check them out. I've really liked them so far because they're really lightweight. So it's not like you have like really like heavy mocking boots on your legs. Cause I'm already like really small. So then when I put on like heavy boots, it's just annoying to me. And even though they're lightweight, they still feel like really durable. And I can definitely see where they would keep you warm. So I'm super excited about these. Oh my goodness, he has some happy little piggies. Oh my goodness. Hello, squiggly. And this morning, whenever I was looking over my birds, I have this rooster I'm selling. I took him out to take some pictures of him. 
and notice that he had lice. So before I start working on the cow pens, I have to go and try to get some lice treatment to like dip him in. I already put like some diatomaceous earth all on him and put like diatomaceous earth in the kennel I put him in. He's been separate from my other birds, so I think my other birds are okay, but I'm gonna look at the ones that were near him just to make sure they didn't get on those birds as well. I hope the first place I go to has the lice treatment so I don't have to run around town today. Fingers crossed because I have to do these cattle pens today. But before I get started on that, I have to go and find a lice treatment and then I have to treat the bird. It's currently one o'clock. So, hopefully I can do it. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is now 1.40, and I'm headed out to go to... First, I'm going to check Ace Hardware because that's the closest place. They don't have it. I'm going to have to go into Georgia to go to a feed store. I forgot to put in earrings, and that feels really weird. Let me make sure my lights are working on the trailer. I left the trailer on because whenever I get back, we're going to do the panels. So. Didn't really make much sense to take it off. thing of permethrin it's for flies lice fleas and mites i'm glad they had this little one because it was only like nine dollars i thought i was gonna have to spend like over twenty dollars because normally with treatments like this they only have like the big gallons so. i just got home so i'm gonna go and put my hair up and try to find some gloves i can dip my little rooster in this okay so i've got like a gallon of water in this bucket i gotta fill this up to half an ounce and then I'm gonna pour it into the bucket. And I'm gonna go ahead and treat the other two chickens that were recently with him. Um, he's been by himself, but he was recently with two other chickens, so I'm gonna go ahead and treat them as well. So, I'm just gonna dip him in the bucket. has any but I'm gonna go ahead and dip her just in case oh wait no she does have some she just doesn't have them really that bad no you're okay I'm sure he has them as well because he's with that other one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look at one of my lavender Orpingtons. I don't think they're gonna have it. Okay, yeah, she looks, she looks good. I just went and checked my Americanas as well and they also look really good. So I think it was just confined into that one flock. But I just treated them all and I'll probably treat them again next week to treat any eggs that might have been on them as well. I 
All right, y'all, it is now like five-ish, and we're working on the panels now. I'm over here at the cow pasture, and we're gonna set it up in this corner right here. So the trough, which it's kind of moved down further right now, the trough kind of goes like over here, and then I'm gonna try to feed the calf in the panels. So I'm just gonna put one here, and then one going this way, to just make a square for now. Oh, you are so cute, buddy. You are so cute. I'm going to be with him. That was all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button to see more of my future videos. And again, all of my social media is always down in the description box. I'm going to have today's notification shout out up there on this screen. It goes to Just a Little Farm. And it said, I am for sure going to teach my horses how to do this. Your horses are gorgeous and I am subscribed and have post notifications on. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of y'all. And I will see y'all next time with another one. Bye.